All right, guys, welcome back to another episode. So today we're, check- we're checking out. I was posing for the thumbnail. Okay. All right, cool. All right, uh, today we're checking out some more Bill Burr. And this is uh, Bill Burr on uh, customer service, I guess. Uh oh. Have you ever worked in customer service? Uh, yes, and it sucks. It's terrible. <laughs> I, I can imagine Bill Burr is probably one of those customers you don't want to talk or deal with. I don't with. know. I think he would be a good No, you know what I like was when you go into these places, right? Even when they're getting your money, like, th- th- that's not enough for them. They, they want to suck, like, more information out of you. <laughs> when I bought toiletries the other day, they asked me for, like, my phone number. I'm ringing it up. They go, hey, can we have your phone number? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, sorry, we're not going to do anything with it. <laughs> really? You're just collecting numbers just for the fuck of it, you idiot? <laughs> No, you see, can't. that's I what I'm talking back. about. Right, exactly. I if you're doing customer services, your job, you're like, hey, can I get your phone number? And he's like, no. <laughs> My phone number. Then they get like all freaked out, right? Oh, sir, I, I have to put something in. If I, don't, if I don't input something in, I can't get to the next. What, what, what do I do? Well, fucking lean on the keyboard, sweetheart. You know what to tell you? Stick your finger on the one. There you go. That's my phone number, 15539. That's it. Live in area code 123. Very exclusive neighborhood. <laughs> oh, it's the worst. You have our little savey, save, fucky, fuck card? No. No, I know. <laughs> Would you like one? No, I wouldn't. Well, why not? Because you're up to something. I don't know what you're up to, but I know you don't want to make less money, all right? Stop fucking Just bring this up. <laughs> I told you, he's terrible. Man, we're winding just a little bit. Oh, man, he's terrible. (laughs) Little fuckity fuck car. Would you like one? No, I wouldn't. Well, why not? Because you're up to something. I don't know what you're up to, but I know you don't want to make less money, all right? Stop fucking with me. Just ring this up and let me get on with my life. Evidently, what you're doing is you're giving them a free survey on what products you can't live without so they can mm. jack the price of that up <laughs> under the guise of giving you like a nickel off of like bootleg Fruit Loops. <laughs> <laughs> I read it on the internet. It's got to be true. Right? It's gotta be. <laughs> no, I try to read. I can't. It makes me sleepy. <laughs> no, it does. It's unreal. I can watch like 18 hours of TV, you know, one murder mystery after another, you know? Be on YouTube all night long. Spent four hours the other night just watching people get bit by poisonous snakes. You know, just having the time of my life. That's what you get, you dumb bitch! (laughs) Screaming on my computer. You know what I meant? It just felt good just to get it out. Well, you give me a book. I just can't do it. I get like halfway down, just start nodding off. It's relaxing. Oh, no. Yeah. I don't know. You know what the worst things are? Those automated machines. You guys have those out here? Those automated checkout machines? Oh. You know? It's unbelievable. I couldn't believe it the first time I walked into a supermarket and I saw that. <laughs> I was like, this is ridiculous. Here it is. I thought I was a comedian. Evidently, I also work <laughs> in a grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> What's great about those? What? The self-checkout? Yeah. That you can choose whether you want to pay or not. <laughs> steak bananas. Yeah. Banana steaks. Man, don't be telling on me. <laughs> Holy shit, I can't believe I forgot my apron. Bananas, bananas, oh, bananas. Was I working tonight? Ah, I should have checked the schedule. <laughs> Dude, you realize the balls of that? The balls of that. Yeah, I'm gonna have a store. You come in, you pick out what you want, you bring it up, you ring it up, you pay me, you put it in a bag, and then you get the fuck out of my store, all right? Sounds good. Let's go, people, step it up. I'm trying to run a business here. <laughs> Dude, if that is the future, if there's gonna be no employees at a grocery store, I'm never paying for food again. I'm gonna be hooking up my friends, like rolling hands out the front door. I wanna steal now, I just don't have the nerve. I just wanna fill up a whole grocery cart full of food, right? Just walk up to one of those automated machines. You count five Mississippi, eh, guess they don't wanna get paid. They just start walking out. Then when security shows up, you just play dumb. Like, what? Well, no. Sir, you have to bring that back. No, I don't. Are you going to cut my hours? I did my job. I picked out what I wanted. I brought it up. I was going to pay you, but you weren't there, so I fucking left. Oh, man. I love him. Oh, 
gosh. That's, what did you think I was going to do, arrest myself? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, uh, man. So, uh, funny enough, that's what grocery shopping is going to turn into because that's what Amazon is experiencing. All you have with. to do is put it in the buggy. Yeah, yeah, you put it in the in the buggy and it automatically rings it up and then you mm-hmm. just leave. Walk out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, funny thing is, is that when we were at the grocery store earlier, um, you were... Uh, we were checking out, and they didn't have a bagger, and so I it was almost it was almost like the yeah, you had to bag it anyway, and or or it start put might as well put on an apron and, and start working there. But remember when we went to Publix and the guy was like, "I should hire you." Remember? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm a good bagger, right, well, y'all. That, yeah, yeah, cause you I, see, like when you I when, put it on the conveyor when, belt in look, a certain uh, way. Look, when I when I'm bagging up stuff from the grocery store, stuff be breaking. I, no, chips it don't. Be I just no, I just the put it in the bag. Ever. Whatever, whatever. I'll probably be the worst bagger ever, but you, Tasha, will put things meticulously together in order. Yes. And oh, but boy. you know what? Because what people, it's a science to this. You can't have. The God. bounce dryer sheets with the chicken, cause it's gonna smell and taste like bounce dryer sheets. Okay, there is a science to this, and I am good at it. So if you want a tutorial, let me know. Uh-huh. I also am very good at scanning. It's very, it's actually fun. Uh- <laughs> All right, then, then may, maybe the, the self checkout is perfect for you. Yeah, of well, course. guys, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. Let us know what you thought about this performance. And if you have any other suggestions for Bill Burr that we should check out, let us know. Anyway, like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you guys later. Peace. Bye.